Everything from um, the current models, everything from from the 250 to the 300, um, they have, let's see, eight mounting bolts. There's six of them you can visually see, three on this side, three on the other, and then there's one underneath the trim tab, and then there's one sunk inside a uh, inside another cavity inside underneath the, uh, the gear case. I'm gonna start prepping the gear cases to take them off. There's two of these. One's underneath here. Right there. So this this particular engine, this engine has has uh, just about 300 hours on it, and it's three years old. Um, Yamaha, when they when they put these together, they don't they don't they don't grease any of the bolts. So if you miss a year compared to just taking care of the service, you know, at the three year mark, you are really gonna notice how hard it is to take these bolts out. If you get the manuals, it, you know, it'll, it'll explain a lot better too. All right, so pulling this gear case off, you really don't want to shimmy it. You really don't want to, you know, try to move it around just to pull it out because there's a, a speedo tube built into the gear case where that plastic fitting will break if you try to wobble it out. So just grab a screwdriver and just, just let the screwdriver work. You know, pry it off, work it in and eventually it'll come off, but you don't, want to, you don't want to do a lot of wobbling. You want to come straight down, because if you go on an angle, you're gonna crack this tube here, this little plastic tube. It'll break, so just save you some, save some headache from having to replace it. All right, here we go. Um, I am going to reset the splines. I'm gonna fill these splines up with grease and I'll do the shift shaft. And I'll do this little O-ring right here too, just to give it a chance of not just helping it get glide on. And I'll put a little grease on where the water pump tube gets in. I always like to do a little grease. There's a collar that sits on this for stab to, to stabilize the drive shaft, or if you hit something, it ho actually holds it. There's like a collar that's underneath there. It's really nice. And now, before I reinstall this gear case, I always turn the prop shaft and make sure it's in, it's, it's in neutral still. I took it off in neutral. I'm gonna put it back in neutral. Here we got a significant amount of grease on these dry bolts. Here we go. So when you're putting the gear case on, first things first, the splines of the drive shaft will be in, be in first, and then the shift shaft. Always want to make sure the shift shaft's going to get in there. So I give it a little twist, and then once it starts to move up, here it goes. Should go right in. There you go. Now listen, if you have over an inch, there's no forcing this, you know? If you get it to this point, you, you should be good to go. Everything's lined up, everything's in place. Get the bolt, start it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. 